My story is that my first love has always been community development and I find it hard as a young person in this um, kind of work due to the fact that I feel like government is really reluctant on assisting us. We have an issue with identity documents and we can't further our studies and there's less of job opportunities. As I grew up, I fell pregnant at a young age, 17. Yeah, it was challenging because I was young, didn't know much. I lived with my father and my mom till I was like three months old. Then my father left my mom and my mom, being from Zambia, she didn't know anything within the country. That's when he burnt everything that belonged to her. So she didn't know where to start, where to go because she did not have any family here. But anyway, she, God is good, so she met Mama Isi through the process, so that's how I was raised here. Yeah. yeah. And now, my struggle is the ID. I can't get my ID, but I've got a birth certificate, but I can't get an ID. And it's hard for me to get into school, and it's hard for me to get a job. I just hope, like, I hope to find a real job or an opportunity to do what I studied go school, understand? To get that and help other kids to 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 be like me, like once I'm I'm up, then I can help other kids to go up. Cause it's very difficult to go up, very difficult. The issue that we have around my school is that we have lack of classes, a lack of school furnitures. And the feeding scheme is not appropriate because you may find out that um, sometimes there is a lack of food and some, some kids don't get food. Mulwin, the real story is young people are not heard today. They are asking us three things. Do you hear me? Do you see me? Do I matter? My name is Liu Olompiti and I'm running for DA Youth Leader. I'm running for young people who are tired of demanding change later but are demanding change right now. Young people who are tired of patiently asking. Young people who are tackling their challenges with resilience and vigor. Young people whose experiences are different to mine. Young people who are just like you and me that want change. There is a deep-rooted contrast of what the new South Africa means to young people today. Young people who continue to be marginalized and left in the peripheries of the dreams of those young people of 1976. Young people who dared to challenge an unjust system. It is those dreams that continue to be a part of the youth agenda today. And that is why I'm running for DA Youth Leader. Because our decisions today will affect them tomorrow. Breaking new ground.